So we're going to go over LinkedIn audience creation, like the retargeting audiences and how you make them. Uh, so I'm going to dive into our account. And up here in the top uh, column, it's going to be account assets. If you click on that under matched audiences is where you create these and they try to make it very easy for you to do. So you're going to click on create audience and they have all the options that are available for audience creation. The most used would be website, company page, and single image now. I would highly recommend those three. The ones you definitely want to get set up before you run any ads uh, would be the website. And even you know before you're thinking about running, if you just want to get this set up so you're collecting the data so that you can eventually run retargeting or start sooner with that, I would do the website because these other ones are retroactive. For example, if I put the pixel on my website and then I set up the website retargeting audience, it's only going to start collecting from the day I set this up onward. But I can actually go to company page and I can go back in time and grab a year's worth of data and, and use that today. Uh, so that is retroactive because it's the LinkedIn owned stuff. So company page is retroactive, uh, lead gen form, event, single image ad, video, all of that you can grab from the past. But website visitors, that has to be set up and only starts tracking and collecting from that day forward. So I'm going to show you that one uh, and the other ones work very similar to this. So I'm just going to name this test 90 day audience. And this would be like the very basic one. So you'll name it and I would say name it, you know, the time frame, uh, what channel it is and maybe even like what layer or campaign it's for, like if it's cold or retargeting, or if you're retargeting the retargeting traffic, you know, I'd put like second layer retargeting, but that's more advanced. So you're going to click here. When did they engage? You have four buckets, 30 day, 60 day, 90 day, 180 day. If you're just setting this up, I would say go ahead and, and create all four buckets. So start with 30, then 60, then 90, 180, name them all separately. So I'm just going to do the 90 day one here. Uh, so I'm going to put 90 days in the past. And then this is the, this is how you do it. Um, I would do contains and I would do, I would do our, your main domain. So instead of doing equals, that means it has to be that specific URL and anything extra wouldn't get counted. So I think that just like leaves too much room for error. Uh, and even starts with, um, I would just do contains and put your main domain. That's the safest way to do it. And then you just hit uh, agree and create. And then I would go back and do it for the other three buckets and set up your other ones as well. Um, the main, I'll, I'll show you the, the video one's actually really cool uh, because you can do 25, 50, 75, 90% of a video of you. So any videos that you're running out there, you can retarget based on what percentage of that video they watched. Uh, and then you can set the time frame for that as well. And you can select the specific videos that you want as part of that. So I have a separate um, video about video retargeting and video campaigns. Uh, so that goes more into it. The company page one is pretty basic. It's if they either visited your company page or they took the next step and clicked the main CTA, which is like visit website or learn more. I would just say you might as well just stick with visit uh, your organizational page because most company pages don't have that much traffic. Now, if you have 300,000 followers, then you might want to just narrow that down to people who have been curious enough to click the CTA. But honestly, that group gets picked up by your website visitors, um, theoretically. So it's probably not worth breaking out. And then this one, you have additional options. Most only go to 180 days company page since it's owned by LinkedIn goes back a year. And the new feature, which I also have a separate video on single image ad retargeting. This is LinkedIn's answer to like the cookie privacy data problem where you send a hundred clicks to your website and only 30 of them get cookied. So only 30 of those are retargetable with your LinkedIn ads. Well, now LinkedIn is letting you create an audience based on those who click or engage with your ads. So it doesn't matter if your website cookies them, you're able to retarget them. And in fact, you don't actually even have to send them to your website to get retargeted. You can now send them to your podcast, your YouTube channel, your organic post from your personal profile. And all those clicks 
are retargetable. So that opens up a whole new world of opportunity and creativity. And you just select the ads that you want as part of it, select the time frame. It goes back a year as well. And you can either say interacted with it or chargeable clicks and you set up those buckets. So basically I would go in here, I would set up all of these buckets and just have them collect. They will say archived if they're not currently attached to a campaign. It doesn't mean you've lost the data. It just means that once you try to use it on one of your campaigns, it'll take a day or two for it to unarchive and show like the number there. Uh, but they should show if you have the insights tag installed, it should show like the last fire, like when it was had this last signal and you should be good to go to use those in your targeting for any of your campaigns.